back. In this episode I'm going to be doing a leak down test on this car. This is a completely stock 91 Civic with a E16 A6. I'm having some oil coming out the tailpipe, so that could be rings, it could be valve seals, I'm not really sure. But uh, there is a little bit of oil consumption. Thing runs awesome, but I want to see what's wrong. So I got a cylinder leak down tester from OTC. I've tried using a Harbor Freight one in some of my previous videos, but they're garbage because the uh, left gauge is only accurate to 15 PSI, so it makes using it really problematic. So this is a completely stock uh, D16 A6 with 150,000 miles on it. I'm really hoping to find out it just needs uh, some valve seals because that would mean I could just pull the head, fix that, put it back together, all is good. If it's the rings though, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, then the motor has to come out and then do you put a B16 in it? So let's see what's wrong with it. Um, I'm not gonna try to waste any time making this look beautiful until I know that this motor is staying in the car. Do you wanna turn your wheel all the way to the left? In here, there's gonna be a little plug and that's gonna be how you're gonna be able to get to the crankcase bolt. All right, that is a 17 millimeter bolt in there and I'm actually gonna go get a couple more extensions, see if I can get the crank outside the wheel well, so a little more room to work. So under the hood, we're gonna be pulling all the spark plug wires, keep them in order, and then we're gonna be pulling all the plugs just so that this is really easy to rotate. All right, the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is remove the oil fill here and Let's remove the radiator cap, although I definitely don't think this thing has a blown head gasket. There's been no coolant loss, so. And then lastly, we can take the intake off. The next thing we need to do is to get cylinder number one to top dead center. Okay, so what I did now is I just put a stick down into the cylinder and I used a Sharpie and drew a line. And I'm going to turn over the crank and watch what happens to this stick. You can look for a line on the crank pulley and the timing belt cover. I'm just not confident I'm going to be able to see it, so this is what I'm going to do. Alright, so it looks like the cylinder is right at about top dead center right now. Um, I'm going to try hooking it up, but I could be off by 180 degrees. So I don't really see anything on the crank that's telling me I'm at top dead center. So we're just gonna see what happens. So here's the OTC leak down tester. Uh, pretty simple. Just have the gauge and a hose and these adapters to fit the spark plugs. I think it's gonna be this one. All right, with this side at 90, this side's at about 75. So it's a 15 PSI difference. Um, I don't know what that equates to in math, that might not be good. I mean, if I turn this up to 100, it's right at about 80%, which uh, is right at the limit of when you need to start looking at things. But the air does seem to be bypassing through the rings, not the intake valves or the exhaust. 